Hi guys, it's Tina. It's time for my next floss tube update. Uh, so I'm actually filming this on Sunday the 3rd of March. So this will be all my progress from my um, between my last update and yesterday, Saturday the 2nd of March. Uh, so um, let's get into it. So in, in this update I've worked on three projects, uh, one of which is a new start and I have a tiny little bit of haul to share. So let's get into what I'm working on. Uh, so the first project I'm working on is the Heaven and Earth Designs uh, Stitch Along for this year. I chose uh, Forest Fairy 3, which is the by um, Ciro Marchetti, which is the one with the frog and the ladybird on. And when it's finished, it will look like this. Bear with me, I'll just find the picture on Pattern Keeper. Oh, and you will have to exclude the glare. I am sitting in front of my window. Uh, so that is what, oh, that's, that's probably the best I would get on there. That's what that one will look like when it's finished. And I am slightly behind where I wanted to be originally on this. So I'm, I am planning on trying to finish this this year. Um, but I'm still on an average of around 200 stitches a day to finish it in, in time for the end of the year. So it's not too bad. And in between the updates, I got 1,923 stitches in to this project. Um, I'll in short, insert a clip here as to what it looked like last time you saw it. And this is what it's looking like now. Uh, so at the last update, I believe I had one diagonal pass done, or one full diagonal pass down to this um, bottom cut off here. Um, this is a 60 stitch high um, column. The pattern's about 240 something stitches high, so I split it into four um, passes. Um, so as you can see, I've managed to complete two full diagonals and I've just started on the next one. Um, I believe this diagonal will get my first touch of yellow for the flowers. So that'll be interesting after working through all of these greens and greys. Uh, so that's Forest Fairy 3. As I said, that one got 1,923 stitches in this month, uh, which took it from 2.98% uh, to 6.24%. So that one is moving along well. The... Next one um, I worked on this month that I didn't work on very much at all, um, but was my kit from Gecko Rouge. Uh, this is uh, the artwork by Medusa Dollmaker. It's called Fables. Uh, this has now been retired from Gecko Rouge. Uh, Medusa Dollmaker has retired her charts from um, Gecko Rouge. I believe she is planning on um, selling a lot of them on her own Etsy shop. I'm not sure if she's got any up yet, um, but I got this one um, kitted from Gecko Rouge. So that's what that one will look like when it's finished. And I did a little bit of work on this one this month. Um, so I'll insert a picture of what this looked like the last time you saw it here. And this is where I'm up to on this one. So I believe I was about halfway down uh, this last diagonal uh, last month. So as you can see, I have um, finished this diagonal. And I have started the next one, although most of this is white on white, so you can barely see that stitching. So that's where that one is now. So in between these updates, I got 534 stitches on this one. Uh, so this now has a total of 3,266 stitches done, uh, which has gone from a 4% a up to 4.78% um, completed. So this one is the first uh, project in my rotation that I'm currently in the process of setting up. It will be a percentage um, completion based rotation. Uh, so I'm hoping eventually to have 10 projects in that rotation, which won't include my sale piece. Uh, and I'm going to work on them 1% um, at a time. So, but they're all going to be 10% apart. So the, the first piece has to be at 10% and then when I work the first piece up to 11% I'll then bring in the second piece up to 1% and then it will carry on that way so it'll be 12 and 2, uh, 13 and 3 and then as we get up even higher it'll go to 21, 11 and I'll bring the third piece in for 1%. I hope that makes sense. It it does in my head which is 
I suppose the important one because I'm the one working it, it will probably make more sense uh, when the rotation is all set up and actually running, which will probably be quite a few months down the line by the time I actually get all the projects to where they need to be, but we will get there eventually. And the third project, which was my new start, was for the 2024-2028 um, Leap Year Cell, which is a group on Facebook. Uh, it's for any um, project, uh, new start, they want to start this year. It originally was to start on Leap Year Day, but it has been extended to start this year and try and work on and or finish over the next four years before the next Leap Year. There's quite a number of us attempting our first Chatelaines in this group, and I am one of them. And the one I've chosen is uh, this one here. This is the Butterfly Mandala. Uh, so I chose to stick with the original concept and start this on Leap Year Day. So I started this on the 29th of February. And my plan is to stitch on it from the 28th of the month to the end of the month, every month of the year, to see how far I can get. I'm, I have no idea if I'm actually going to finish this or not. Um, but I'm going to make a good attempt at it and if I don't finish it in the four years I may carry on doing a similar thing going forward until it is actually finished. Um, so as it was a leap year this year I only worked on this for the 29th of February. This is on a much larger scroll frame so I don't have to take it in and out of my key snaps all the time. So obviously as this was a new start there's not a big full picture of this one. Um, so this one is this is what I got done on the 29th. I can't actually see what you're looking at. No, oh, yeah, you can see. So I got a couple of um, colours in, as you can see. Uh, so this little cross here is actually this, the centre of my design. I just marked that so I knew where I was. Uh, so as you can see, I got a couple of um, threads in. So the 29th was actually a work day for me. So this is what I got done in my lunch break. Um, I was actually working at home that day, which worked out quite nicely. It took me a while to wrangle this fabric into this um, scroll frame, which is why I don't tend to use it very often or I use it for projects that are going to stay on the scroll frame. So this one, um, is not, I'm not planning on taking this off this frame in, in the near future. So that was my progress on that one for that first day. Obviously I'm working off a paper chart for this one, so there's no stitch counts because I'm not going to try and count off my paper chart. But I did work for that one day on that one. So that's all of my stitching progress for this month, uh, which was a total of 2,457 stitches. Uh, so not as much as the in the previous update, uh, but I did lose my stitchy bug for a bit in the middle of fe February. There were a, quite a few days where I didn't stitch at all. Um, I had a few busy work days um, and by the time I got home, I was it was too dark and I was too tired. Um, so I just didn't do any stitching. I have got a few days off in the coming month, so hopefully I can make up for that and get some decent stitchy days in, so hopefully I'll have some good progress for you next month. But that being um, said, obviously that 2,457 stitches um, gives me an average of just over 79 stitches a day um, for this update, which is under my unofficial target of 100 a day, but it's not too bad considering I'd, I had quite a few days where I didn't actually stitch, so it's not too bad. So for the year to date, I've actually done 5,937 stitches on the patterns that I'm counting, so it doesn't include the um, Chatelaine, which year to date works out at just under 96 stitches a day. So it has fallen below the 100 stitches, but I am hoping that with a few decent stitchy days in March, especially with some time off coming up, um, I can get that back over my 100 um, a day unofficial target that I'm aiming at. Um, so the last thing I wanted to share with you um, was just a few items of haul that have come in between the updates. Uh, it's only a small amount, so I'll just uh, grab that and we'll, I can show you. So the first thing I picked up was actually off the Facebook Marketplace. Um, I do tend to keep an eye out for a few of these because um, they are quite expensive if you buy them officially, but if you, sometimes you get decent and deal on the Facebook Marketplace. And this is a Mirabilia pattern. Um, this is Winter Queen. Um, so in the picture here she's actually stitched on a white linen which with the amount of white and pale blue on her I'm not sure is the best choice so I might look at um, some other pictures and possibly look at doing her on a different fabric but I think I will be definitely doing her on a 
on a hand dye of some description. I'm not sure when I'll get round to her, but we'll have to see. She'll go in my pattern stash, and as I work through patterns, um, she may get um, chosen to be a next pattern that's worked. Uh, I did also pick up a piece of um, fabric. This is 20 count Easy Guide Ada from Swive Up. Um, I've never tried anything on 20 count, and I thought I'd give it a go for a quick stitch or a smaller stitch at some point to see if I like it. I do tend to stitch on 25 and 28 count most of the time, um, uh, which is obviously even weave. Um, but I thought I'd give the 20 count a try for one of my smaller projects to see how it goes. So when a smaller project comes up, that will be used. And then the last thing I picked up was a few more needle minders. Um, I've got a few projects on the go and a couple that I'm, I have plans for, oops, excuse me, that I wanted some new needle minders for. Um, so I picked up a few from EJ, EJ Creative, I think it is. Well, EJ's on um, Etsy. I will put the shop name up in the um, description box. Um, so the first two I picked up were these two. Uh, which says I'm not a hoarder I'm a curator of an extensive craft supply collection and this one is I cross stitch so I don't kill people which is sometimes how I feel um, I, I do often say to my husband when he asks me why I do these projects this is like I'm taking out my frustration by stabbing a piece of fabric lots of times rather than stabbing a person um, so I've got um, those two for general use and then the last one I ordered was this um, Christmas snow globe. I'm going to be putting this one on my Christmas in July start when I get around to that. And as I ordered three, they actually included a um, freebie with my order, which was this little strawberry as well, which is nice. They, um, they've all got the nice, um, just the plain strong magnets on the back. The magnets are quite um, strong as well. Um, so hopefully they will work quite well on my projects. So that's um, all for this update. Um, when I do my next update, I might include some of my knitting progress. So I've been slowly picking up my knitting again, um, a small amount. I'm, I will probably only include it every couple of months or when I finish something, um, just uh, to give you a little update of the other craft that I tend to do. Um, so I will probably add that in next month. If it's something you want to see on a more regular basis, um, do mention it down in the description, because I can do updates on that every month if that's, um, more what people would like, but that would be very slow progress because my knitting gets picked up um, in the evenings, um, sometimes before I go to bed. So it doesn't get a lot of progress before I get tired and put it down again. Um, but I do get a small amount of uh, progress to show on there. Um, so if you are interested in seeing that on a more regular basis, do put that down in the description box. Um, but that is it for this update. Uh, so if you have liked this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up. Um, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already to keep up with my floss tube and all my other videos. I do also do videos on project panning and my beauty and makeup empties. Um, so there is a little bit of variety on this channel. But subscribe if you want to keep up with my updates. I have noticed on my um, analytics that a lot of my viewers are not subscribed. And although I don't mind, it would be um, nice to have the subscriptions because it does help the algorithm and help me um, to grow the channel. So with all that being said, I will see you in a few weeks for my next Floss Tube update. Bye guys.